Hi everybody, I'm Mickey Gousset, and I want to thank you for taking the time to go on this journey into GitHub Project Boards with me. GitHub Project Boards are a great way to organize and prioritize the work you need to do on your project, but they don't do you much good without some content. In this video, I'm going to cover what GitHub pull requests are and how you can add pull requests to a project board to make them easier to track and prioritize. Let's get started. So what is a pull request? A pull request is a way to tell others about changes you've pushed to a branch in a repository on GitHub. Here is a simplistic way of looking at pull requests. I'm leaving out a couple of details. I start off with my repository in GitHub. I have a branch off that repository that I'm making changes to. Once I'm ready to take my changes from the branch and merge them back into master, I open a pull request. Then, when the pull request is approved and we've finished commenting on it and everyone is okay with the changes, I can merge those changes back into master. By taking a pull request and adding it to a project board, you have the ability to then track and prioritize the pull requests to work on. Pull requests by themselves don't have any sort of priority or order to them. Adding them to a project board allows you to wrap some process around your pull requests. And the connection between the board and the pull request is bidirectional. So updates to the pull request are reflected on the board and vice versa. There are two ways you can add a pull request to a project board. The first is from the pull request page itself. On the right hand side of the page is a projects section. This section is where you can see what project boards a pull request is a member of. And remember, a pull request can be a member of multiple project boards. And it's also where you can add a pull request to a project board. To add a pull request to a board, you click the gear icon next to projects then select the appropriate board. The second way you can add a pull request to a board is from the board itself. At the top right of the board is a button, Add Cards. Clicking this button will open a flyout window with all the pull requests that are in repositories connected to this board. You can filter on the results to find the pull requests you need, then add them to the board either by dragging and dropping or using keyboard shortcuts. Let's look at two different demos. In the first demo, I'm going to use the user project board that we created earlier. I'm going to create a pull request. I'm going to add that pull request from the pull request page. We'll see if any automation happens. Then I'm going to remove it from the project board and I'm going to add it directly from the project board just to show you both ways that you can add something, in this case a pull request, to the project board. For the second demo, we're going to make use of one of our repository project boards that has automation. So we'll create a pull request there, we'll add it from the pull request page, see what automation triggers, and then we'll remove it from the board and then add it directly from the board and see what happens. We'll also take that same pull request and add it to a second board just to show you how you can have the same pull request on multiple boards. We're going to start out this demo by looking at the user owned board that I created previously. So if I come up here and I select your projects, then here is my user owned board. Those are the issues we've been working with before. And remember, this board has no automation, and we can see that because there's nothing at the bottom of the columns 
or we could go into each column and say manage automation. And we can see that the preset is set to none. Now, if I come over here under menu, I can see that this board is tied to this repository. So I want to go create a new pull request in this repository. So I'm going to go to that repository and I need to make a change so that I can have a branch so that I can create a pull request. So we're going to edit the readme. So I'm going to click the little edit icon. And we're just going to add in another line here saying pull request demo. And at the bottom, I can add a comment for my commit, updated the readme.md, and I can say added info for pull request demo. And I'm not going to commit directly to the master branch, but I'm going to create a new branch. And I'll just take the, the name it gives me, and I'm going to click propose file change. Now what this does is creates a new branch for me and then takes me through the process of creating a pull request. So it's going to take what I entered in for the message, what I entered in for the comments, and I can see that I'm trying to create or trying to take this branch and merge this branch into master, and I'm going to say create pull request. So I now have a new pull request that I can work with. At this point, I could have team members comment on this pull request. I could add um, reviewers, people that I need to review this pull request. I can assign this pull request to different people. I'll assign it to myself just because I can. I can give this pull request a label. So we'll give it a label of enhancement. And just as I could with issues, I can add this pull request directly to a project board using this projects area. So I can click the gear and I can see there aren't any repository boards, but there is a user board, my user owned board. So I'm going to add this pull request to that user owned board. Now you'll notice that right here it says awaiting triage. And if I go back over to my board, we don't have the pull request on the board yet. We do see that we have one new car that's awaiting triage because it's in triage because it doesn't know where to put it on the board. Now I could drag and drop it from here onto the board or I can come over here and just say put this in the backlog column and you can see it automatically adds it to the backlog column. So I could have, so I can add it that way through the pull request itself. Let's say I don't want this pull request on this board. I can select remove from project. And that will remove it from the project. And if I come back over to cards and do a search, then you can see the pull request showed back up. And then I have the capability to either drag and drop this onto a column from here. Or I could actually tab to the pull request card, hit the space bar, you can see it selects it and shifts it a little bit. Now I can use the arrow keys to move the pull request to the appropriate spot and then hit enter. So I have the ability to either add it directly from the pull request page itself or I can add it from the project board by searching for it and dragging and dropping it over. And if we go back and look at the pull request, we can see that it shows me what board it's a member of and what column it is in in that board. So we can see where it is in that process. So this was a board that doesn't have any automation. So therefore, I have to tell it everything to do. Let's go look at a board that does have a little more automation behind it. So if I come back to my repositories, I can go to my Acme repository. And if I go to projects, I can see I have four project boards, one of which is the automated Kanban with reviews board. This is a board we used in some previous videos when we we're working with issues. 
you can see that because I have automation in place, one of the things that I get with that automation is I get a status bar at the top that shows me for all the different cards that I have on this board, how many are done, how many are in progress, how many are waiting to do. Now, if we look at the automation, we have a to-do column. And if we look at the automation for that to-do column, newly added pull requests don't do anything at the to-do column. They're in the in-progress column. So if I go to in-progress, and I go to manage automation, then I can see if I add a new pull request or if I reopen a pull request, it automatically shows up in this column. Now I also have some automation in these other two columns as well. I have approved by reviewer, which means that if this pull request has a reviewer and it's been approved, it would show up in the reviewer approved column. I also have this pending approval, which means that if this pull request has a pending approval, it will show up in the review and progress column. If I have a pull request where I haven't assigned any reviewers to it, then it automatically shows up in the in progress column when I add it. So let's see that happen. If I go back to my code and we're going to edit this README and we're going to say testing automation in pull requests. And I'll come down here and we'll make the message update README file demo of pull request and boards. And I'll have it create a new branch and I will propose the file change. As we saw before, it takes us through the process of opening a pull request and I will say create pull request. Now I'm not going to assign any reviewers. We're going to do that in the next video. But what I am going to do is come over here under projects and I'm going to go to my repository projects and I'm going to add this to my automated Kanban with reviews project board. And you can see that it's automatically put in the in progress column and notice how the status updated as well. So we have two in progress. If we go back to that board, let's open this in a new tab. Then we can see that it was automatically added to the board. Now I can work my pull request and then once I complete my pull request it would automatically get moved to done or if I add reviewers it gets moved to the appropriate column which we'll see in a future video. If I go back to that pull request I can add it to a second or third or fourth project if I wanted to. So in this case we'll add it to the automated Kanban project board. You can see that board has automation in place, automatically put it in progress. If we go look at that board, we can see that there is my pull request on the in progress column. And it's there because the automation is such that new pull requests get added to this column. You can also differentiate between a pull request card and a issue card by the icon. Notice the issue card has an exclamation point with a circle and the pull request has the pull request icon. I hope you have enjoyed this video on adding pull requests to your GitHub project boards. Make sure you come back to check out the next video in the series, Working with Pull Requests on GitHub Project Boards, where I will show you how to move the pull requests through your process on the boards, making use of automation, and show how the project board tracks your progress. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more DevOps goodness. Thanks for watching.